So we've got two types of Egyptian soldiers. The spearmen and... Wait a minute. Wait, they all have... Oh, these guys have Kopeshes and look at their hats. Oh my god. Now these guys are on guard mode, which is a new mode, meaning... Why are you standing backwards? But as soon as they get hit by this oncoming horde of Persian soldiers, the AI should kick in and, oh, there we go. Oh my gosh, that's an epic clash. So now the Egyptians are greatly outnumbered. They have 10,000 to about 20,000 Persian soldiers. And I wanna see who's the strongest, who's the bravest. So these guys are wielding Kopesh swords and they've got amazing looking armor. Although the armor is just on their heads, not, you know, the rest of their exposed brawny body, which when you put it that way, Oh, the Persians are wrapping around, but look at this. Because they're on guard mode, they'll actually maneuver in such a way. This is fascinating. I was wondering, I was like, you know, what is really going to be the ultimate difference between Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 1 and 2? We do have RTS mode, but this guard mode is a big change. That being said, I wonder if it could have been an update to UEBS 1. But I think there's also some massive changes to the performance. So let's see, wow. The Egyptians are definitely holding their lines very, very well. They have 8,000, so they've lost just under 2,000 soldiers, but they've killed almost 7,000 Persians. This is why you don't want conscript armies, Xerxes, when you're going against well-trained armies of the ancient times. Like, look at these guys with their shields. They're probably able to hold the line just a little bit longer. They may not do as much damage as their Kopesh wielding brethren, but by God, they're gonna hold the line. Wait, where's where's my Eagle Warriors? There they are. Man, these this line is just so massive. But I don't know who's doing the best. Let's see, if we look at it, it looks like some weird Joker smile. Um, I guess there's actually a thicker part of the lip right here so it's the shieldy boys that are holding the line better but is it also because the persian line is also thicker right or is it just too close to really tell oh wow it's almost a one-to-one -one ratio it does appear that the egyptian army is going to be able to hold the line they're standing on the bodies of their fallen friends and enemies, using as it a wall of sorts, much like the Persian or the Spartans did at Thermopylae, allegedly. Then again, maybe some of my information is coming from a comic book version called 300 that was made into a movie. Yeah, okay, so that's the tail end. I love the AI's tactics here. They're pulling away. Oh, wow, okay, so shields and spears are better than cool looking helmets and Kopesh swords. Now the Egyptians almost outnumber the Persians two to one. What would be really interesting is if the AI had like a morale, sort of like the Total War games, which I think the Total War games were almost like the original battle simulators. They just never called themselves battle simulators because they also had that really cool campaign mode. Now, if we could just tell, oh wow, look at just this absolute route down the line as the Egyptians just turn and start to double envelop the Persians. Needless to say, King Xerxes is also not going to be able to conquer Egypt, as well as Greece. Yeah, I, I think that the cooler looking guys aren't the, the best ones of these new Egyptian faction, but there is a new boss unit, a new special unit that is going to be joining the Egyptian army. Ooh, this is nice. A proper UI update. I guess it's the game dev nerd in me. Now, down here is the singular unit. We're gonna put her, yes, Cleopatra, versus 250,000 Persians. So here she is. I don't know what her powers are going to be, but she's not holding a weapon. Oh my God, look at those claws. Is she just gonna claw them? She's got a really cool looking hat. All right, Cleopatra, what are you going to do against these poor oh oh my god oh snap holy crap and then she charges in no she's still just hanging back here being a wizard she's a witch well how do, how do you know she's a witch well because she looks like one okay so that's pretty powerful those fireballs are an amazing effect bringing in magic to the mix is incredible in a great great thing I don't think she's as powerful as, say, Nikola Tesla, 
But you can definitely see scenarios. Oh yeah, you, you, you want to see them, right? Where you upgrade her fire rate. So we go to character customization and we find our brave Cleopatra. Accuracy, 100%. Attack range, doubled. Attack speed multiplier, ten tuppled. I don't know. Impact force, we want physics, seven. Splash damage, 690. And a splash radius of 6.3. Well, we can't do decimals. Dang it. We need, she has something that's not in here. Super bullet? Is that what it is? She might have a power that we can't even use yet. All right, these are magic bullets. Yeah, these are, okay. Wait a minute, that, that doesn't seem to be that good. Okay, we've actually nerfed her, but that's not even the most <clears throat> explosive update in Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Although you can see her firing. There's this weird looking fortification that we need to hold at all costs. Oh, it's a beautiful medieval castle. We can have proper sieges. Now these World War II units have been set to guard mode. We have Thompson wielding assault troops and shotgun wielding. Good old boys from Oklahoma, Iowa, Idaho, all those states where they grow potatoes and corn. And against them is one million zombies. Now, I have to say, if things are looking dire, we cannot lose the city. We'll have to destroy it using, well, let's just say we have the nuclear option available. One million against 10 thousand that is 100 to one and they are set on guard so i'm actually kind of curious if they're gonna charge ahead or since they're range units if they'll hang back they're already firing on the zombies but i mean i don't know that's just that's a lot of zombies look at that man that's covering the horizon now let's take a look at this castle which is going to be amazing to set up attacks and defenses as you guys are watching this i want you guys to leave in the comments what kind of battles you'd really like to see in the next video if you see a comment that you're like man that guy's got a great idea we'll give it a upvote so it's more than likely to be chosen oh my god look at mount everest kind of rendering in off in the distance over there oh these guys the guard mode they are kind of peeking out a bit the zombies are getting close but i don't know if it's close enough wait some of the troops have like maneuvered over here Look at that! They're like, I'm gonna fill in these lines! They keep getting reinforced. But the zombies look like they're getting closer. So, already 40,000 zombies have died. Now, every soldier is firing, so if I was the Dark Lord, I would go into RTS mode. I'd command the second army. I would grab a whole chunk. I would set their secondary orders to attack. And I would flank as hard as I could. Let's see if that's enough. Oh! The zombies have started to create, I think maybe some casualties. Oh yeah, there's definitely soldiers dying. And this flank could be pretty effective. Oh, they're spilling it over here too. Oh man, I don't know. This is gonna be a very, very brave defense, but I think like when you look at this, it's gotta favor the zombie apocalypse, right? Wait a minute, is that a satellite flying overhead? Oh, don't worry about that. Don't worry about what things that satellite could be armed with, like, <clears throat> Nuclear ordnance detected. It's like StarCraft and you're the Zerg playing against the Terran and all of a sudden you hear nuclear launch detected. And you're like, oh my God, oh God, oh God, where is it? And your friend across the land table is just cackling maniacally. Yeah, that's how it feels like. The human forces are starting to dwindle. I actually wonder if since they're on guard mode, if they're not holding their shape very well, if that's negatively affecting them. Cause the more they go out and the more they're exposed, the more are gonna die which means the less guns firing, and over time, the more losses you take, well, uh, your fire rate goes down, and the zombie apocalypse is still 875,000 strong. Wow. In the time I, I said that, they literally lost 2,000. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say all the humans that were right here died, but they've actually bunched up, but they're slowly getting eaten alive. Well, eaten alive and then they're dead and then they're zombies. You know how zombieism works. It's like, guys, <laughs> why didn't you fight inside of the castle walls? Well, uh, you know, I don't know. It's like we want to see the nukes or something. The new map looks great. I love guard mode. I think the Egyptian faction looks really cool. I like how the game is already receiving updates. Oh my gosh. This flank is just 
massive. They are wrapping around them. The humans still have over 9,400, but they are starting to dwindle. And it almost seems like there's no end to the zombies. But it begs the question, what if instead of using some brave officer was like, you know what? Our general's an idiot. He's saving the most powerful weapon that we have available in case the city falls. Why don't we use it to make sure the city <clears throat> doesn't fall? So you have shotgun smite, which doesn't really do much. You have Noah's flood, which also doesn't really do much. These God powers sure don't feel like them. But now we have nuclear weapons. The Death Star will be in range in five seconds. I'm not sure the, the blast radius of this nuke. So we're just gonna <clears throat> fire it. Nuclear launch detected. Oh my God, that was glorious. Now, how long does the mushroom cloud stake around? Wow, are you kidding me? They just lost like 300,000 zombies. I've got to see this from a better angle. Now, if we fire into that mess, they've got 411,000. Until the nuke. That is a mushroom cloud and a half. That is gorgeous. And the zombies just, their numbers dropped by another $100,000. $100,000? You can't put a price on zombies. That was great, but they're requesting danger close firing operation on the human left flank, the zombies have made incredible progress. It's almost like some great necromancer general. Fire! Now, did that blast... Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, my. Uh, that was a little bit too close. I just eviscerated everything. The humans, too. Not just the men, but the women and the children, too. Nuke everything. It doesn't look like you can fire more than one nuke at a time. Never mind. There are two humans left alive somewhere. One. The zombies have overtaken the city, and then that evil general in the movie is like, destroy the city. Welcome to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator 2, where we have massive updates. And look at this map, the amount of choke points you could dominate. Look at that now. Everything's quiet. All is lost. All is found! Let me know which battles you'd like to see in the next video, and I will see you there. Thanks for watching.